Welcome to another edition of a Sitting with Stan. We still on the season for Sitting with Stan. Well, tonight, I hope you enjoy tonight's episode. As we look at Africa Unite, you will find some players moving to their countries and come and play their trade here in South Africa. And you'll find South African players going abroad and making their name. But tonight, we'll bring you some of those players that left their countries and joined South African football. But as you know, the only Cape Town who issues I'm an invitation sitting on my right. Cape Town, who Prasten? Yeah, Prasten. Sinto. Kambas. I go and bagasi aku. As a Brasten, when we when you introduce Le Show, you brought right. legends. And also we discuss issues that involves football as well. Mm. We always speak about Africa Unite. You also speak about Oguti Bola. It's a, a universal language. Mm -hmm. But we will see that throughout this episode. And I will allow you, Brasten, to introduce our guest. That's an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on my right, far right, mm. uh, Edward Mutale, mm. very much local, very much <laughs> local. He's definitely not from Africa. And uh, again, <laughs> on my right, Willet Kazande. Yeah. I think if you are a football guy or if you are a football man or if you are a football supporter, you will know about Willet Kazande. Mm. Kaduzo of South Africa. Kaduzo, <laughs> Kaduzo of Zimbabwe. Mm. Uh, there was a player who was playing for Orlando Pirates. Mm. Then that generation, he was called Saracen. Mm. Just like him, Saracen. <laughs> Don't crash. <laughs> and of course, uh, far left, mm. tall, from Nigeria, a center half. He can also play as a central midfielder. Mm. All he said. This guy, he can also play as a central midfielder. Mm. Good player. He's a modern defender. Mm. At times he takes risks. He wants to hold the ball inside that box. But that's that's how he is. He's a clever player. You know, with clever players, yeah. they take risks. They don't. They are not scared. Yeah. One of our best defenders we have signed so far this season. Yeah. Bosse Mamboki, you 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 understand when you when you int you were introduced um, in SA football, <laughs> you made your mark. Take us back where it all started as Uwiliat Katsande. Thank you very much and thank you, Brastin, for having me here. Yeah, yes, yeah, you um, You know, football is something you're born with. I still remember my father took me to a match in 1992. We had a local team, a strong team, so sort of like um, Leicester City, something like that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they were playing against the biggest team, uh, Islanders in Zimbabwe, and they're more like Orlando Pirates, you yeah. understand? So from there, I was six years old. From there, I just fell in love with um, with football. And my my dad, my late dad, gave me the name of um, the name of Willard Katsande yeah. through a Highlanders legend, oh. uh, Willard Kumalo. So from there, that's when I started um, fell in love with football because the atmosphere um, was good and uh, the stadium was full. And um, yeah, unfortunately, my, my my dad died. Then from there, I had to to dig deep now to go and watch our PSL team in the in the oh. hood. So from there, um, I started playing football at, uh, you know, junior football, a, a strategy, yeah. you understand? Then later, because <clears throat> my situation was bad, then I, I tend to be head boy, you understand? Uh, in the ruler, in the rows. Mm -hmm. So my sister, I had my sister, uh, she was three years older than me and we had nothing. And she got pregnant when she was 15 mm -hmm. and I was um, 12. Then she gave birth when she was 16 and I was 18. Then from there, we I had to leave junior football to go play with older people, you understand? Because I wanted to accumulate a little bit of money yeah. to help her to buy nappies and, and soap mm. for the for the child. So from there, it, it, it develops to me to have a responsibility mm. and to have a goal, to have a why I play football. Mm. Now I don't see football as a career now. Now I see sort of like a source of income because mm. jobs were, I mean, are difficult to get in Zim. And by that time I was still going to school as well. So from there, the hardship was not, was, was tough. And I had to come 
to South Africa. And the fun part about my story when I come to South Africa is I never played the, the destroying role. Mm -hmm. I was playing the Pambili. As a striker. The shukel, like the <laughs> so from the year I had to come here and yeah. luckily I had Nengo Masha in, in yeah. the, and we had them in national team. So I had to start myself to how to to swim in the big fishes. And yeah. moreover, when I signed for a big team, mm. he was lost because I didn't know exactly what is these two teams about. I wasn't yeah. ready. You know, now you're in the system. So it's it's a um, bit difficult to start. And back then, you know, the, these teams were, were the dominant force in the in the local football before. Yeah. Like uh, the, these past seasons where Sundowns took over. And uh, it wasn't nice. I don't want to lie, and uh, I'm just a, a village boy coming to play a derby. That was my first game at Chiefs. Well, that was a disaster, I understand. Mm. Then from there, it, it, I sit six months without making a team. Then I start processing, like, what is this? Mm. What is being a, um, a big team mm. player? Then you have to educate yourself. Because of my situation back home, I, I grew up in a shack. Yeah. You understand? Then I, when I got signed here, at Ajax, I was like, oh my God, my life is going to change here. Mm. Then yeah, You started at Ajax? Yeah, yeah Ajax. Ajax yeah. And I was, How old were you then? I was 22. Okay. So yeah. at Ajax, when I, I got my check, you know, after tax. How much was it? It was 15th God. <laughs> was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah. Look, was in, look yeah. I was playing in, 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 in Zim, yeah. whereby yeah. it was just a thank you or a winning bonus. Yeah. A winning bonus, which was maybe 200 rand. Yeah. You understand? Then I get here, uh, 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 my gross 15 after takes nine, nine is good. I, I had to send some, something big home. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we had a good season and uh, we gave Paris the run off for their money yeah. that season. Yeah. Mm. We came runners up the last day of the. Then he, the coach who signed me there, he left. Oh, yeah. Then the new coach came in. You know, when new coach came in, a lot of things will change yeah. in the setup. Mm. Somebody mm. will come with the different ideas. Mm. Yeah. Then the coach says, no, uh, you know what, uh, Mr. Katsanda, I don't think we need to exhaust the foreign sport. But it, were you playing as a striker or what? No, no, no. You the, you know, I was playing as a, as a, as a, as a eight. Eight. Yeah, because the yeah. coach who signed me says, you know what, I'm, I'm lacking number six. Okay. Then can you play? Then I was called for national team. We're playing Zambia. Mm. Then Bobby was there watching Lincoln's okay. Yeah, yeah. Then he saw me playing in the middle, and by that time Tinashe was aging. They was looking for something. Then he said to Tinashe, "Who is this boy? They said, ah, this boy doesn't even have a contract at Ajax now." <laughs> then he, that's when he took me. Yeah. So when he took me on board, now I'm like, okay, I was on the 15 squad. Now I'm at uh, Chiefs. So yeah, the life is changing, you know. <laughs> life, from, that's from a village 15, boy to yeah. something, you know, life is changing. Because Bobby said, uh, like, when 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 he, 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 we were in the Ravaya going to our our plane, he says, hey, Bob, I want to bring you to Jobe. Mm. But Jobe, yeah. Oh, that conversation happened on the plane. Yes. Yeah. Then he says, I want to bring you to Jobe. Then I said, ah, maybe because I had a good game last night. Yeah. Let's go back. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to, to skip. <laughs> yeah. He told you, Guti, he wants to bring you back to Kaiser Chiefs. No, he says he wants to bring me to Jobe. To, to Jobe. Yeah. yeah. And the offer? How no, much it was, was it? It was... Uh, no, no, no. Good. We're talking figures here. Yeah. <laughs> How much was it when Bobby offers <laughs> you? Because, because you are from 15,000. Exactly. No, you, you, see, you see, let me, let, me, let me tell you. Ne? From the shack, I had to buy a, a, a decent house for my mom was in the village. Like, okay, come and sit in the... In the, in the town, and this is the house, and a nice TV, and a this TV. Yeah. Now she's being the coach. She's like, hey, my friend, you're kicking too much on the phone. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we, at least they changed my life. Okay. Yeah. The package was way, way, way big. For me, it was like, hey, yeah. thank Thanks you, God. God. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about on signing fee. <laughs> so that. The what? Uh, on signing fee. fee, how much was it? No, it was, it was, it was. One it was. Yeah. It was good. Because uh, remember, <laughs> it was 2010, 20, 2009, 2010. So two million. Ah, it was a lot. Oh, around two million. It was a lot because for me, it changed my life. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah, it, 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 it did change your life. Yeah, it did. Uh, but you, you can just, uh, I mean, we can. Sh we are sharing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's share. Let's share. Okay. Let's share the <laughs> figures. No, no, but uh, the thing is, uh, my, 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 my fee, you know, because I was, um, it, it was half a million. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was 500,000. Because yeah. they, I exa, it was 40,000. All right. 40,000. Yeah. From 40,000 to so half a million. That's crazy. Yeah. Right? So, so which is 500,000. Yeah. Oh, listen, when, when, when we were introduced to you, 
we've never seen a player plays that type of a football. Where did it all started before moving to one of the biggest teams in Africa? Okay, um, thank you, bro, Stan, for having me. <laughs> yeah, I've been boy. watching, so it's actually my first time. So I'm really happy to be here. Right. Um, it all started from my dad, mm. because my dad is an ex-player. So he used to take me to the field to watch games. And then we all started from the street, you know, street, ball, yeah. make post with uh, stones and yeah. stuff. So yeah. that's where it all started. Mm. I started varsity, then I was like, it's going to hinder me a bit with mm. football. So I had a conversation with my family and then they were like, okay, they supported me, obviously. I got more support, obviously, from my dad mm. than my mom. My mom wanted school, school stuff. But mm. at the end of the day, she's happy. My dad was like, we're not going to make it easy for you. Like, I'm not just going to call these people because you're my son. You know, you have to prove yourself. Mm. Yeah. So I used to go for trials and a lot of trials. So yeah, and then um, I started playing in the Premier League at home. Before that's how I came here. Mm. Yeah. So after I came in from the second division, the middle of the season, I was after the middle of the season, I was nominated for one of the best players. Yeah. And then the next season, before the season finished, I had a call from my uncle and I had offers already. Mm. So he was like, he wants to bring me to South Africa, and I was like. In my head, I had other offers. I was like, eh, not really. Mm. So then I, he told me he has someone he's working with, which is yeah. Mike. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I had a conversation with him and with my dad. So after the conversation I had with him, I haven't had the conversation like that with other agents that yeah. came to me. Mm. Because we had a conversation and I saw that we had like a goal. Mm. So yeah, and then after I had the conversation with him, then my, uh, he spoke with my dad. Mm. So, and my dad was like, okay. And then I came here and yeah, it's actually very different from home. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, truthfully, it's very different from home. Like, tactically, you know, here is more like, there is more transitional plays. Mm. Yeah. And at home is more like, there's more contact. Yeah. There's more contact. Like, some contacts that you get at home for like nothing, like no yellow card here, yeah, you can get the red card for it. <laughs> so, yeah. it's very much yeah. different. Yeah, but, but, but yeah. you've been the best player uh, back home. And also, I'm sure it wasn't easy for your team to just let you go to play in SA. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah when it came, uh, I had a conversation with the uh, chairman of the team. Mm. And then they were like, uh, they don't want me to leave now. Uh, one more season. What well, I was like, I'm on. I don't. You can see the contract, and this is like an offer. Mm. We are all going to be happy at the end of the day because mm. the chairman is more like a father to me. He asked me if I've thought about it, yeah. and I said I already made up my mind before even coming to the office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he was like, okay. We spoke and, about Okata and uh, the on signing fee. Obviously, <laughs> with the Pirates, it was way too higher than Okata. And do you yeah. still remember how much you got? Uh, high. No, I don't. Where at, at this club? Is uh, my club? club. No, yeah. no. Obviously, it's different. It's yeah. The, yeah. yeah the, it's way different. What do they call their money? Naira. Naira. Yeah. Naira. So how many nairas did you get the first time? So you can get like, it depends. Five million naira, six million. When you say five million, six million here, it's obviously... Yeah, no, it's, no, yeah, yeah, it's not like, it's not a lot like that. It's, yeah, it's like, I would say maybe like... Mm, I don't know, five like 200,000. 200,000 yeah, something, yeah, about, yeah. yeah. And besides, yeah. Uh, he's, the family is a football family. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw when we were in Nigeria, we were playing a final, I think. Yeah. Mm. The whole family was there. That's when I was told his father was a footballer. And then I, was, I kept asking, as good as him. So we didn't make a mistake by signing this uh, young man. Mm. Mm. Looking at the <laughs> signings that you've made, the Pirates, yeah. uh, Rastan, yeah. do you find it maybe easy to bring these players and also for them to come to SA? It's not easy bringing uh, African players to, mm. to, 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 to this country because one, I'm happy for them, some of them who are making it mm. because they end up not wanting to go back home. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure if 
Katsanda still wants to go back home. But I'm just saying. 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 I'm
they need, that, to, they yeah. need to be inducted yeah. into the system. Mm -hmm. So when players come in, more especially the, uh, the, the outside world, we will we'll, we'll induct them. We said, yeah. hey, Baba, yeah, you know, this crowd, they don't have that thing of, say, give him two months. <laughs> No. Yeah, they want results today. <laughs> they want now. Now. That's true. Yeah. That's and true. also, yeah. first you, impression. Yeah, yeah, as you said, <laughs> Willard, that it was a different football than when yeah. you, yeah. When you were Chiefs. at Chiefs. Yeah. Mm. But if you look at the difference between the games now, from home to Ajax to Kaiser Chiefs, where we saw a different Katsandi, mm -hmm. hard tackling player, yeah. was it the difference, a corner between... South African football, and if you look at the African countries as well. Yeah, I think you know. Um, obviously, like Nda said, in 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 Africa, it's more conduct. Here is more tactical. You mm -hmm. know, they spend most of the time on the video analysis. Like that's a modern football now mm -hmm. to understand your opponent, how the coach wants you to operate in a certain position. Sometimes you become off, like blank. You don't know what to do, you don't and by that time. Yeah. South African football is very fast, mm. and the players are very skillful. At Ajax, it was bad, you know. That's why most of the time I was on the bench. When I came to Chiefs, first game with Chiefs against Pirates, MTN8 was was very very bad. That was my turning point to understand South African football. Yeah, South African football, the players are very talented, they are very skillful, and they are very quick. In Africa, we are strong. But we're not that quick as South Africans. South Africans are more like Brazilians. Then how did I tell myself, like, this is a transition? I had to be, bring a little bit of iron. So when, iron. Yeah. yeah. When, <laughs> when, when I go hard. Yeah. He's, he's not even shy about it, Brastel. No, 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 no. That's how I survive. That's how we play. You know, to survive yeah. in, in, yeah. in Pirates Chiefs, is, it's not a child's play. Yeah. Yeah. True. Trust me, because mm. I was booed. Yes. Yeah. My first game, I'm like, hey, who behind you? <laughs> <laughs> who brought that guy? <laughs> you see, when yeah. I'm sitting down on my couch, and like, I'm, I'm trying to meditate, like, what exactly happened? Yeah. Back home, people were watching on TV. Yeah, they were cheering, <laughs> everything. And you can't go to the garage. Yeah. Yeah. They, tell, they will remind you, like, you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one. Yeah. 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 The, the, you see the transition. Yeah. At Ajax, I, I see he was a girl. Bed, no ah, it's fine, go to training. Yeah. These big teams, yeah. it's, it's not just a football club. <laughs> That's a lifestyle. Yeah. You have to bring your A game every single day. When I joined, I was on my own. I have to know how to swim. So it's different like when you came on board, the, the reception you get, not like they don't, they, they, they don't want you. Mm. People are different. Yeah. So I had to ask information to the senior guys and also how to adjust the fit in. Yeah. Then also a training, I started training mm. a breast end. Yeah. It's okay, okay? Yeah. They know me in training. <laughs> yeah. So I said, for me, for them to accept me, yeah. Yeah. I have to show them, goal, like, yeah. you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a lion here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So every time now when you're picking a small-sided team, um, with the big fishes now in their team. No, yeah. Now I'm passing with them. No, this, that's when you, they start accepting you. So yeah. it's a fi finding a way yeah, to, sure. to, to fit in. <laughs> oh, so that you, you also came in mm. uh, to this biggest team. Mm. Everyone knows what when you're playing for Orlando Pirates, they brought in, they're also bringing in the quality players. But he touched on when he played his first game, he made mistakes and also fans. He couldn't even drive to a garage to buy <laughs> bread. A bread. bread. Your experience as well coming in to that team. Um, and how did you, well, deal with that negativity from the supporters? I know where I'm coming from basically. And I had these conversations with my dad. Mm. Mm. So it was like, you know, when a defender and a keeper makes a mistake, it's very obvious. So yeah. he's like, you should expect mistakes and you shouldn't like let it weigh you down and mm -hmm. stuff. So even when things happen to me, I always like clinch to that. And I always have like, even like I have almost every game I play after the game, I have like another analysis with my dad mm. in general. Yeah. So he's always picking out points. He even writes it down 20 minutes, <laughs> this, this, this. So like the time that players, yeah, my roommate can tell you, the time that players are sleeping, I'm on the phone with my dad. He's like, you did this at this time. So maybe next time when I'm doing analysis with the coaches or something, mm. I already know where my mistakes are. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, <laughs> so it really helped me a lot because my father is someone that 
you keep pushing you. Yeah. Like even when I think I played well, you you have not played well. You still have points. He has points. He writes it down too. <laughs> yeah. So I get used to like after the first time I was actually like um, I felt bad, you know. Yeah. Like I knew like I could do better. Yeah. When you make a mistake here, like it it's, it takes you time to like get over it because like you said, you can you can go out and to get something. And me, I'm not someone that I don't even like going out like that. So. When you get in, you're reminded of <laughs> what I, ah, Mara, what the what. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you be like, yeah. ah, I just want to buy something. And go. Yeah. Yeah. So you then had to change your lifestyle now and stay at home and. Yeah, before like at home, I was very comfortable to go out. You yeah. know, even though like everyone knew me at home, so but I wasn't worried about the the media yeah. and yeah. people. Like yeah, I was like very comfortable. I could go out like normally with family and everything. Yeah. But now it's very difficult to go out. Yeah. If you look at back home compared to here, there are opportunities as well, where obviously the game is different and also the environment is different. And now you will find it here, Oguti, when you play very well, you attract other opportunities, modeling and what's not. <laughs> Looking at that expects in terms of you coming in into this country and you've explored other opportunities. Do you think also playing for Orlando Pirates has opened other doors for you? <laughs> yeah, most definitely, yeah. Like playing for this, like, this is not just a club, like it's a franchise, you know. Even outside there, I have friends in Europe, they even know the club, you know, they know the team. So, yeah, I have... I watch the team playing, you know. So I'm, I'm like the club has opened like a lot of doors for me. Mm. Protestan can tell you like they, he knows about everything, so <laughs> <laughs> he can tell you everything that's been going yeah. on. Yeah. So yeah, it opens like a lot of opportunities for you. But how difficult, uh, Magens, for 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 these players when you have to deal with the negativity just after the mistake they've made, quick game, Abasuge made lal at that time. How do you then make them fall? Welcome and also looking forward to the next game. Tina S, more especially me as a, as a captain, mm. I used to go to all these branches, Peter Marisberg, Brad, Devil, Harangua, and give a little bit of education, Guma supporters. Mm. That is why when, when, when he, he ends a little mistake, he was never booed. Very luck. Yeah, very lucky. Very because lucky. Yeah. Count yourself blessed. We yeah, used to sure. educate Tina. We even now I still go to branches. Mm. They invite me. I go there. I we educate them. Good mistake So uh, it's vital. It's vital. I think also clubs, maybe Bristol, you need to utilize us to also be ambassadors of this uh Provinces. Provinces. Mm. I'm a, I'm a day day. Mm. So that maybe once a month, when they've got general meetings and then one legend goes there, goes there, then we, we, we talk around these rules of the game. Exactly, Brasten. Mm. To support Mr. Majens, what he's saying. It's true. Mm. We, need, we need to educate our supporters. Because remember, we are footballers. If you start booing me, I hide. Yeah. And when I hide, no, yeah. my team is one, one man less. Yeah. And remember when you're playing with the uh, Chiefs Pirates, everybody's coming for your throat. They were camping proper. They just want to get your contract. Mm. So imagine you boo him. He's going to be yeah. out. Yeah, you're, you're one man less. And you're fighting people who are hungry. Yeah. So we need to educate. Like, you know what? Players are not robots. They are human beings. Mm. Mm. When you do mistakes, you're not like, we don't care. No. You understand? We, we, I really want to go inside the field to give my best. Yeah. Yeah. But if you boo me, you know, you're taking the, the large part of my game and you're affecting my teammates. Ooh. It's never been easy to leave your comfort zone and go to another country and start a new life. Mm. To elaborate on that, you had to make sacrifices mm. when you left home. It surely it wasn't easy. What mm. are some of the sacrifices you had to take coming in into this country? Family is a big part of me. Mm. Um, I'm very close with my family. Like I always put my family before anything in my life. So, like I was always, I'm um, always with my family, mm. basically. 
So when I left um, them, I, I know I, I came here for a job. Yeah. So yeah, it was like a bit challenging and yeah, some things, you know, you won't always be happy even when you're not happy, you don't have anyone to talk to basically because mm -hmm. you're here alone. So you have to phone home and stuff like that. But um, yeah, um, even when I arrived there, I'm very close with my, my grandmom and I lost my grandmom because we're very close. She calls me like on daily basis. And so I lost her, I couldn't go for the burial because we had a game. So yeah, there was a lot of things that came up within that period, but I had the backing of my family. And yeah, like I think one of the biggest challenges for, for me was um, my family. You spoke about your sister and also losing a member of uh, the family. That experience to you and also those sacrifices in, 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 in football and also being a player. When you're a football, especially when you especially your, your, your background tells you that you have an opportunity to, to make it out of football, you know. The time we came here, there was not um, technology the way it is now. Mm. Like he said, homesick home, you know, you'd be like sitting, as my friends are like this. By the end of the day, you know exactly the reason why we are there, mm. you know. So those are the sacrifices we, I, I did like, okay, I have to cut, come out of my comfort zone to earn a living because I didn't get uh, proper academics because of um, we, the affordability. So you can see that if I didn't sacrifice myself to be out of the country, to come here to look for, for, for opportunity, job opportunities, I don't think our situation are going to change. Mm. Obviously, my gents, listening to these stories, a very touching stories mm. where you had to leave your family mm. and also things that are happening back home, losing family members, you can't attend funerals. Well, obviously, these are touching stories. Now you understand where they are coming from. Yeah, look, it's very difficult. Even though from the grandstand, it look easy, you know? Uh, but now I'm happy because clubs now, they've adjusted, they've got all the the video analysts, they've got the social workers, they've got all those expertise to to work with the players, you know. As it was difficult, everything will come as a element of surprise, you know. But at least now, and the social media, you know, I like him flying back to Nigeria in and out, he can do a video call and see everybody around and talk to them mm -hmm. like live. And, uh, you know, so, but uh, sometimes it's difficult because, uh, for example, if there's a problem and you are this side and then there's a big game, mm. you, can't, you can't go to Brasten and say, hey, I have to go home, I have to skip this one. I remember Ogutumuti, Amanyamati, my house, and Sangempel. I, Brasten, and I know. Uh, you share the stories of Umoti Lagui Pagani. Mm. We are seven the Prestene Umoti Lagui Pagani. <laughs> you know, Ben Kuluma Nukatsandela, Uti, Umoti, it's an African thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's an African thing. Yeah. Yeah. We can't do away yeah. with it. Yeah. It's there. It's an For African sure. thing. You go to uh, Congo, you go to, I mean, you go to anywhere in Africa. I remember, my gents, when you guys went to Nigeria, just share a story and the experience of Moti or why born among Figacon. We went to Nigeria. We were playing shooting stars. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Shooting stars. You know, they were wearing those small yeah. shorts. They were tall, but six, seven foot. Hey, my, when we get to the share room, they said, no, you can't go in the change room. What, what, what? I said, no, we want to go there. We want to relax, refresh. Oh. We got in the change room that's full of blood from the door. Uh, where we were supposed to be seated, there's blood. Uh, you can see it's blood. It's not like paint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our, 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 our multi man said, no, you know what? Let's get a young boy, a virgin, <laughs> to come and clean this thing because you need a virgin. Oh, yeah, you had a multi man. Yeah, yeah, we had our, our oh, own. Okay. Yeah. Oh, just because we couldn't know. notice. Why you forget about the multi man? We pirates. We got our multi man. Why you forget about it? Not. Hey, who's the power? Let's see, mean. 
Yeah, but but we use a knife. Okay. Yeah. Use a knife. Oba, no muntu wa hamba yomlanda watamba. Use a knife. Yeah, use a knife. Because if money says play name, it's how. Oba, the love is 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 one of us. Yeah. So if if falls under players or taking care. No, it falls under doctors. Yeah. It's a private dog. We had a doctor and a private dog. So na suga na ilai. Na suga na isafi. What? No, 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 no. Go out. Go out, go out. Got this boy. <laughs> they gave him water and what what. He cleans, we gave him nairas. So we went in. And then we started burning our own. <laughs> yeah. Almost. A lot of smoke. Bro. <laughs> it burned. Yep. There was <laughs> outside the security, they call. The fire brigaders, they say, hey, the change room is burning. That <laughs> <laughs> is us with the smoke. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say, everybody's got this belief. No? Yeah. If you believe in whatever you believe in, believe in that. Do you have experience, your mood, especially when you're playing a big team like your former team? A derby. A derby, especially. Yeah. What was yeah. your experience? <laughs> Your moti it, when you join the team. You want me to be honest? Yes. yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You're sitting with okay. Brasten. You're protected okay. here. Yeah. Well, Brasten knows. Listen. Eh, eh. Oh, he knows. Obviously. <laughs> Come on. Even all of you guys, you know. Yeah. 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 You know, when you're playing derby, yeah. like, like Brahmajan said, everyone has their own things. Yeah. When you play derby, when the fixtures are out, they know that uh, two weeks from now, 14 days, yeah. we're playing a derby. We'll have our own person. Guiding our own dressing room. Pirates, they do have their own people. Yeah. They do the same. They do the same. Yeah. You understand? What does that tell you? It tells you, like, you know how it is. <laughs> yeah. Everybody Two wants weeks to change. Before. Yeah. Huh? Two, Two weeks, weeks before. Yeah. yeah. Two weeks before. The stadium is not is not only empty stadium. Yeah. It's full already. <laughs> you understand? So, serious, then everybody has to perform their own rituals. Because, yeah. you know, when, when you come into into our house, in your family, yeah. whatever you do. Yeah. Remember, it, 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 there's a constitution. The, with, with your parents, That's, they said, uh, Tandas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But when you go there, they do their own things you have to do. Yeah. Not no, 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 no. So yeah. don't run away from that question. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the rituals yeah, when you they, practice when, at, at no, the when they, 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 No, the jerseys. What do you do with jerseys? The jerseys, because my jersey needs to be brand new. Yeah. But they're not brand new. <laughs> How? Probably, because, you know, this, these are yeah. the things that when before I was there mm. and yeah. uh, I left, obviously, Still, the, the, Still. The, the, the rituals. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, obviously, I mean, you, you, the jazz is supposed to be brand new, but the jazz never be brand new. Yeah. <laughs> but you're still yeah. using the brand new jazz. I don't know, get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, like yeah, our yeah. jersey was white. Yeah. But it was but brown, brown white. Mm -hmm. You see, because yeah. it, it was brown these white. things is giving you, they said they give you a little bit strength. of uh, strength, yeah. foundation. Yeah. They would be yeah. like, I'm going to have foundation. <laughs> yeah. So you have to have the foundation, <laughs> this, the, the, the stability. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? So it's, it, it, it's, it's normal. When you were Chiefs, <laughs> you mentioned when you play so to Derby. Yeah. Obviously, there are rituals that are performed. Mm. Yeah. It talks about the Jays. Who then brings the Jay-Z the Jay -Z and <laughs> the private doctor. You know me, me, to be honest, like I said, I'm being honest with you. I was a, a focused guy. The yeah. only thing that matters to me was my match and my opponent. All I know is my uniform is, is wet. I'm going to go inside the field. It's wet. It's wet, wet. yeah. And it's smelling, you know, but I'm going inside. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> but you see, it yeah. comes from who? At it's that one, it's my perfume. job. It's my perfume. job. My job was <laughs> getting in your perfume, uniform, Baba. go and ramp. <laughs> Did that multi works in the Soweto Derby? That's the way to dub you. Yeah, yeah not weeks, that's even that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. When you guys works, perform that, you manage to beat Iolano Pare. Every game. You <laughs> also experienced the same thing during the Soweto Dabi? Yeah, that was my first time. So we were coming in, they're like, this way. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, you have to walk in lines, like, go like this, <laughs> like this, like this. You can't go through the other door. Mm, there was yeah. a time, I remember the last time there was, there was like a fight. Yes, because of yeah. where to pass the door. Yeah. And you see on your side, there's things on the ground. There's a lot of things. Like you said earlier, like you're wearing a white jersey. And like initially, the first time, actually, I actually noticed it. Um, 
I had like a little bit of problem because it was my first time. I didn't, I've never experienced it before. Oh. So I was like, I biggie. I was like, what's happening? Why is my Jesse smelling like I was like, <laughs> I, have a in the I was like, okay, give me the second half one. It's like, I just use that one. The second half one is like, that also is, is the dry cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> so there was, a, there was a lot of things he was saying. I was like, no way. Yeah. So after the game, we played the game. We won, you know, nothing. I felt like, um, is like is a tradition. Yeah. Like, yeah. like like what he said, we use all those things, but we can't win the World Cup. They they are players. Yeah. These things are brought to them. Brasten, you are in the administration. Who calls um, those doctors, private doctors, to come? I'll talk about my team. Yes. Uh, we have so many supporters in our team. Ah, we've got, yeah. I don't know how many millions we, we have. have. Millions. Same, same mm -hmm. like yeah. Chiefs. They have supporters. Mm. And then you'll get recommendations. Uh, I can do this. I've done this. What, 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 what? No, this thing will work for sure. I'm telling you. Hey. And then another one comes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. Ah, we want to go inside the stadium. We'll do this. What, what? So you, it depends <laughs> where you, which one. You, <laughs> but then it ends up then bringing in one. Mm. So that one is a private dog. Mm. We've seen Roulette in your former team where you spoke about Soweto Derby mm. when one of yeah, the teeth, half, half time. Half time. Yeah, he went They sprinkling. Yeah. Me, I was not there. I was inside the dressing room half time, obviously. No, no, no. no the the last game. Oh, okay. Oh, last game. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Talks about the last game. Sprinkling. Game. Do you have that individual who will carry Umoti for the team? But yeah. you, you said you saw those. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying when you guys being told that dressing room, Umoti, never mind Uma Jens, yeah. he's doing his job. Yeah. No, but you see, you see one thing about, about, about that, and it's tricky because there are those players who can go on the side and care for the team, Brasten. Mm. You know how it is. Yeah. You can come, mm. uh, maybe the, the private doctor yeah. chose me. Yeah. We have our different um, side chat. Yeah. yeah. Then he said, you know what, Katsandi, you are the one who's going to care for the team. Don't tell anyone. Mm. When we are in front of everyone, we are going to perform the same thing. But when, yeah. you understand, you're going to carry on the side. Mm. It happens. Some they used to drink. Like you said, when you are in Rome, you do what the Romans do. Yes. Well, especially when you are captain, you, you take the stock. Because I remember I was, I was given a, a parcel, even though I didn't know what was inside. They said I must put it in my underpen. Yeah. Ne? Yeah. But as I was playing, this thing, it makes me horny. I said, <laughs> no. <laughs> I went back to the private doctor. I said, no, man. Can't I put it in the, my sock? Because here, yeah, it's giving me problems. <laughs> he said, no, you have, to, you have to keep it there. Because that's how we're going to stop goals. <laughs> you know? But I have to take one for the, for the team. <laughs> You know? Exactly. Then I left it there yeah. with my horniness. <laughs> do, do you find Olisa <laughs> going to these private doctors not only going there for the team, but going there for your personal gain and also maybe cementing your place in the team? Um, for me personally, um, I don't know, but I know of uh, people back at home yeah. that they do it. And you know, when there's, there's an extent you do something to like people notice it. So we knew, okay, that one, don't go that way. Mm. So I'm, I'm not gonna say the name of the team, I was playing for them. And then uh, they brought a, a right fullback mm. to the team. The young boy is very good. And the person that was there is uh, he's very strong. So after the first training of the, the young boy, mm. he had a knee injury. Oh. Friendly game. No one kicked him, nothing. The next thing, knee, and then the coach comes. You know, everyone knows. They're like, ah, even this small child, you should take it easy. <laughs> you know, and he was quite old. Yeah. Like, no one could play that. Imagine, no one could play that position mm. if he wasn't injured. Yeah. No one could play that position for more than 16 years. Mm. Mm. Then you, know, you know someone that played during my father's time? Yeah. And when I was in the team, I told my father that this is the person I'm playing for. He's like, what? 
It's still playing. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> it it worries me, Prasten, yeah. when <laughs> this thing we have something in common in Africa. Yeah. Which is umut. Yeah. yeah. That all the teams are using. Right. But it worries me, Prasten, when the issues in our society, when these players coming in in our countries and our boys going to African countries, even abroad, mm. we experience certain treatment. We spoke, our country has been hit by xenophobia and that also leads to a depression of some of the players. Obviously, when you guys play in this country, you also experience such things. Or you have those players mm. that have experienced the, the treatment, the bad treatment. Your experience? Uh, I had, a, I think it's a painful um, experience. Uh, we, we were playing Sundowns yeah. in uh, Loftus. So Mato, he caused the penalty. We, we, win, we were leading one year. Yeah. Yeah. Mato caused the penalty. Sundown scored. Then he, Mato uh, stayed back. Remember center back? Yeah. Yeah. He played everybody on side. They scored two one. Yeah. You understand? And there's a free kick. And we are we're trying to get an equalizer. We are pushing and the game is getting closer to eight, seven minutes, something like that. Yeah. Is now it's a free kick. On our left side, Sundown's right side. So I should be Dolly. He he whipped the cross in. Mm. So me, I was I was at the far post because the tall guys had to occupy the the first yeah. area yeah. because of the where the, yeah, the, the, yeah. the, the delivery is gonna come. Mm. So Mato could see the, the ball here. Yeah. But then the ball was here. Yeah. Like he can, he's tall, eh? yeah. he can head. Yeah. You know what he did? Yeah. He dug the ball <laughs> on me. Yeah. And he hit my thigh. Yeah. It's a goal. <laughs> and so I'm down here like this. <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> Why? He says, hey, Krotman, pin out, offside, and this one. He know, I thought, no, let, let, let me just go so that you're going to be two. Yeah. Then I laughed, then he picked him up. I laughed because. It's already done, yeah. you understand? Mm. One supporter on Twitter now saying, hey, query, query, what are you doing in our country? <laughs> Go back home. And the threat was too long, eh? and he was threatening me, like, I know where you stay. I'm going to hunt you down. How can you come and um, cost us? And yeah. cost us, yeah. and yeah. even scoring and on go. Sure. But a good thing, like, some of Chiefs fans, they educated him, like, you know how bad he is, you know, that kind of, and, and some uh, were even tagging the, the, the police, like yeah. this kind of act, we don't, we don't need it. Figure so lately, as yeah. a player now, you are scared, mm. like what, what more me, I'm on the limelight, mm. if I'm treated like this, what about my brother who left home, yeah. just come to, to, to try to make the ends meet in this country? Yes. That is why when I, I, I spoke about educating the supporters. Yes. Mm. Because... We saw, we saw that his batoho, he dug. Yes. And when you were in the comfort zone that he's going to head gonna it. He's going to get it, yeah. 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 Then you relax because, yeah. he, ah, you know, he's going to head it out. Tall. Exactly. Then he dug. Boom, the ball is here. There's nothing you can do. Okay. But uh, that un uneducated support, because he just won result. Like I told you, yeah. this chief spirit, Sundown, they just want instant results. They don't care who did what. Did you experience any any mistreatment, uh, uh, especially when xenophobia hits our shows? And, and, and I know it's it's something that we need to discourage, Brasten, but have you experienced or any of your uh, friends or colleagues' experience as well? Yeah, I have um, a couple of people, even me mm. personally, you know, um, after the debut, I got some messages, yeah. you know, and I felt like I, I support the team also. Oh. So I know how it is when my team loses, I'm, I'm angry. Oh. So that's how I, I looked at it. I looked at it from their own point of view, being like not understanding. Did you get messages uh, from social media or direct? No, I got, I got messages from um, social media. Yeah. So, yeah, but me, I didn't like really pay attention to it. I mm. only got um, worried and I, when I really felt it was like the following day, yeah. When my mom, I um, after training, yeah, so I came back and I I was leaving the stadium and I checked my phone and I saw like um, nine missed calls from my mom, my dad, like called a couple of yeah. times. So I felt like something happened. 
So when I called back, she was like, where are you? I'm like, I'm going home. She's like, are you okay? I said, yeah. So it was like um, some videos of them like attacking a car and stuff yeah. like that. And they put my name. So my mom was like, she was scared. Mm. Then she was like, are you okay? Stuff mm. like that. I was like, yeah, I'm fine. So that's when it actually hit me. Like I actually felt it. And like the couple of messages that I got. And also I can understand you're away from home and this happens as well. Yeah. This issue might lead Brasden to a depression because you are alone here. Yeah. You have no one to talk to. Your family is away. So it's easy for you to fall in that depression. For the couple of days after the, the game, I felt re really bad. You know, I felt like to an extent, like I was like, um, I had um, a therapy session. I was like, I woke up that day. I was, I woke up very early. I barely slept. So I was like, I wasn't in the mood like to do anything. You know, yeah. I was like, I felt really down. So even when I was speaking with my brother, like my brother easily noticed from our mm. conversation, he can tell something's wrong. So then he called me, he's like, you're still thinking about the game. I was mm -hmm. like, obviously. So we spoke about it. It was really like frustrating and depressing. Mm -hmm. But you know, they are the good and the bad. You know, in as much as I got those kind of messages and threats, I still got like messages from the other fans who yeah. felt nice to me. For support. You know, yeah. so everyone is not going to hate you, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so there were sure. still people that like still supported me, sent me <laughs> messages. Even to an answer that I don't even know how they got my mom's account, they sent my mom messages mm. also. And they were actually nice, you know. Mm. So that's when even my mom showed me the messages. Mm. And she was like, OK, that's when her mind was like a little bit calm. Mm. And she was OK. She was like, if it has gotten to that extent, it's better you just leave now. I was yeah. like, no, I'm fine. In general, yeah. So you never thought of coming back? No, I didn't think of going. Obviously, Brasten, um, you guys have a program mm. in terms of making sure these players, they are in a good state of mind mm. and help them as well understand, Uwuti, not all the supporters are like this. Obviously, as much as we discourage such, but is there anything the club that is doing to making sure they are safe after yeah. all this. Yeah. First the coaches will be called. And then if if uh, like like the the mistake that he did, the coaches will be called. And then they'll be explained that look, <clears throat> much as we want to win the game, but uh, football is a game of mistakes. I'm sure you if you have played football you'll understand that. So anyone Anyone that makes a mistake, it can be a player that has to score a goal, he'll balloon the ball over the bar. It could be a player that uh, wants to defend it, the ball might hit the hand. Could be a player that wants to hit like he did. It's a game of mistakes. So all you have to do for us, a favor, is to speak to the player. In closing, yeah. uh, Brasten, yeah. Uma Debawati is sports, is the only thing that can unite Unified. the nation. Yeah. And also, that's the only common thing in a Caesar as Africans. These players came in and add value in our football as well. Mm -hmm. In closing, what can you say to them, Brasten, as part of the, the team right now? No, I want to see more of them because uh, some of them are very good players. Yeah. So when they come in here, or when we uh, sniff around and get one, mm. we, we are forever looking for who's, is he better than what we have? Mm -hmm. Is he coming to add value yeah. into the team? Yeah. Yeah. So we will never stop uh, bringing in players from uh, outside. outside countries. Yeah. We'll never yeah. stop that. It's, it's, it's like yeah. that. It will yeah. be there. And even until I die, it will always so, be there. Because you need to have a bit of foreign players, you mm. must have. What I like about them is they have basics. Most of them, the banana yeah. basic, yeah. because yeah. they are from developments. Look at Sundowns, Sundowns yeah. has a mix. Of players. He also has a mix. Yeah. Uh, when I left, when I started, when we started that team, we brought in uh, uh, foreign players. Yeah, yeah. And it was made by foreign players. Mm. And today, even still, they still have two, three foreign players mm. because they add value. So that's it. Prasten, thank you so much. You always bring these guests to share their experience, to share what 
they want to achieve in our country and also add value, as you mentioned, in, in, in our uh, uh, DSCV premiership. But also, we mustn't forget that we are all human. It's either you come from Tanzania or wherever, we all have the same blood. Yeah. We are all Africans. We are born in Amklanje so as we close yeah. this segment yeah. of these players. Yes. And also sitting with Stan season four. Let me get my glasses well. Get your glass. Yeah. Get your glass. Willard, get your glass. Yes. So this that we celebrate yeah. proper. Proper. The that African. we are all Africans. Africans. We are all African yes. countries. Yes. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us tonight. Sitting with Dupra Stan or season four. Lo. Thank you so much to Willard Katsande. Thank you so much, Olisa, Nda, the man who gets more attention on the other side. Prasten. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And the other man that gets more attention, handsome and beautiful. Yeah. Bonke at once. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Cheers. 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 <laughs>